So from here we're going to simulate falling into a crevasse and then how we get up the rope to get out. Okay, so I've fallen in. Now you can see why the chest harness is important. Because mm -hmm. I've got this big heavy pack on. What else is behind my backpack? This thing. Chest harness on it. Sled. Ah. I've got a 60 pound sled pulling too. Mm. <laughs> so you got a sled and a backpack all pulling you backwards. Oh. So without this, I would be upside down. Yeah. Ah. So that keeps you upright. So the first thing I want to do when I get into this position is get rid of this thing so I can sit up and be more comfortable. And that's why we have this attached. So leave that like that. Unbuckle the waist belt. I don't use this strap. If you guys use the strap, the sternum strap, uh, oh, you don't have, oh, there it is. This? If that was on, it would be choking me. So undo that. <laughs> then your waist belt. And then slowly take this off and lower it down. If you just drop it, it might rip all of this off and then your backpack is gone. And what's in your backpack? All of your equipment that you need to survive. Okay. Yep. So don't let your backpack drop. Lower it down. Mm -hmm. And now I can sit up. I don't have it all pulling me down. I can unclip this. Mm -hmm. I can slide that up if it isn't already. Now I take my ascender. Mm -hmm. Open it put it on the rope, and slide it all the way up. My gear sling, I've got my foot loop. There. There's this knot that we tied in the middle, right? You can take a carabiner and clip it through there. This foot loop, undo, don't drop it. The hard part is getting it around your foot. I do a girth hitch, like that, get it around my foot, like that, and then I clip it to here. What would I have to do before I do this? What are we traveling with on the lower glacier on our feet? Snowshoes. So you got to take your snowshoes off and try and not drop them in. So use something else, a carabiner or whatever, clip them off so that you can get up without them, okay. but not lose them. So now that we're here, I'm ready to start going up. So this is clipped to here, and that's already slid all the way up. I'm going to stand, not on the ground, <laughs> and slide that up. Once I slide that up, I can sit back down, break this mm. so it slides, stand, and repeat. Not yet. So you can see I'm going to start pulling my backpack up with me. I don't want to have to pull that up with me if I don't have to. It's a lot of weight. So, leaving this clipped in, I'm just going to unclip my climbing knot. So now my backpack is still attached to the rope. Uh, but I can climb without it. And then I get to the top and I'm out of the crevasse, we can just pull the backpack up. That's it.